the mercy that you will seek for after the rapture why not seek for that mercy now the grace that you ask for ask for after rapture why not ask for that grace now because that time you will cry and the, the cry sweet holy spirit we love you thank you for our privilege to communicate the counsel of the father to us again Father, we thank you for this privilege you have given unto us. We will appreciate you. We say, let your name alone be glorified. And at this time, we ask that your word will melt away every hindrance in our heart. Take away the stony heart. Make our heart a fetter ground to receive your counsel at this time. Thank you, Father, because of answer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Quickly, beloved, I will be sharing some scriptural verse with you at this time. And we are talking about, about a very important topic and a very crucial topic you know, that concerns us in this age and the dispensation. And it's a message that we have recommend that everyone should listen and share, share with people that are around your loved ones or relatives to be able to also listen to this message. We'll be looking at in this time the judgment seats. The judgment seat. And I'm looking carefully with you. Second Chronicles, sorry, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter five and in verse ten. Second Corinthians chapter five and in verse ten, and it said, "For for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. For we, for we must all appear. For we all, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ." For we all, both the young and the old, for we all, both the rich and the poor, for we all, both the sick and the and, and the sick and the healthy, for we all, both the dead and the living, for we all, every being, everyone, for we all shall appear before the judgment seat of Christ. There is a time that is coming. There is a day that is coming that is called the day of the judgment of the Lord. There is a place coming where Christ will see to judge the whole earth. And in that place, we shall all appear. Not minding our, our title, not minding our position, not minding our, 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 our where we find ourselves, not minding who, what men and women called us on earth. We shall all stand. The believers shall stand. The unbelievers shall stand. The sinners shall stand. The, those that prove ignorant of Christ's redemptive work shall stand. Those that acknowledge it and accepted it shall stand. We must all stand we must all appear before the judgment seat of God that that everyone may receive the things done in the body we will be judged every man before the judgment seat of Christ we will all be judged and will be rewarded equally according to the things that we have done according to the, uh, receive the things done in their body according to that that he has done whether it be good or be bad we will all stand we will all stand both the, the young and the old we will all stand both the rich and the poor we will all stand both the educated and the non-educated we shall all stand both the professional and the unprofessional we shall all stand before the judgment seat of christ and we all shall receive the things we have done in our body according to us we have done whether it be good or bad Look at what Apostle Paul said in verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of God. Knowing therefore the danger. Knowing therefore the, the fierceness of facing God's wrath. We persuade men 
we persuade men but we are made manifest unto you and i trust also are made manifest unto you in your conscience and that is why i am here at this moment by the spirit of the law to tell us that we shall all stand we shall all appear before the judgment seat of christ and every one of us will be rewarded according to our deeds according to our work according to our obedience according to our workings with god there is a day coming called the day of the lord when the judge of the whole earth and every man will be judged according to the action and in action in righteousness christ will sit on the judgment seat to judge every man action in righteousness the judgment of god from the for the judgment of god from the judgment seat is final and cannot be appealed on any other court or any man the judgment on that day from that judgment seat is the final judge it's not a judge on earth say, ah, I, will, I, will, I, will want, I want to make an appeal for it there is no room for appealing Jesus is the final judge. He's the judge of over all the earth. He will sit on the judgment and we will all appear before him. We will all appear before the judgment seat and Christ will give the final verdict and that is final. The judgment after Christ has given cannot be appealed. It's not, it's not like an earthly judge that you can be moving from court to court. The question I must ask myself that now is where will I be judged? What will be the judgment I will receive? What will be the final judgment I will receive from Christ? The rich and the poor shall be judged according to their deeds on earth. Both the rich and the poor shall be judged according to their deeds on earth. Christ has given us a clear example of what will happen. And he talked about the story of the rich man and the and Lazarus. They both died and they stood and they were judged. The, right, the, 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 the rich man saw himself in hell and Lazarus saw himself in hell and the man was tormented. Christ has given us a clear example of what will happen. The rich, the poor shall be judged according to the deeds on earth there is a day coming and that day is coming by and by that all men would stand before the judgment seat will stand before the throne of, of, of judgment and christ judgment will be vetted on and be given to every man even as no one is too small to die so any one of anyone any, any one of anyone at, at of an accountable age shall stand before God before the judgment seat to be judged by the judge of the whole earth. Even as no one is too small to die, so anyone that, that, that is of account, a, accountable age. That is of the age of accountability shall stand before the judgment seat to be judged by the judge of the whole earth. Where will what will you be? Where will you be at that time? What will your judgment be? It may be this morning, it may be this evening, it may be in the night, it may be at any time. Christ will return. The question you must ask yourself is that what would the judgment be from Christ concerning me? What would the judgment be? Let's look at what the scripture said in Christ's revelation to John. And he said in Revelation, in the book of Revelation, let's see what was the revelation that was revealed to John the beloved consigning this judgment seat in, in Revelation chapter 20 and in verse 11. Revelation chapter 20 and in verse 11 says, And I saw a great white throne. That is another term for the judgment seat. And he that sit on and he that sit on it, from whose face the face the earth and the heavens flee from away. And what does that mean? He said, even the earth cannot behold his face. Even the earth cannot behold the face. Because his face is fierce, terrible, with a full of terror. 
and there was not found a no, a no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great. The dead, small and great. Stand before God. And the book were open. And another book were open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of this, those things which were written in the book according to their work. The dead, both the small and the great, stand before God. And they were judged from that book according to the dealings the dealings on earth, according to their works on earth. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the dead and hell deliver up the dead which were in them, and they, and, and they were judged every man according to the work. Even the sea will bring forth those that has been swallowed. That would have been, when the sea cassided, when the, the, the ship cassided, and they were they, they, they were drowned, drunk, and, and drowned, and they were drowned in the sea and died. The sea will bring out those people, both the small and the great, and the dead and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this in the second death look at the painful part after the judgment has been vetted after the judgment has been given out by the judge of the old earth he said whatsoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire the lake of fire the judgment seat we will all stand, we will all appear before the judgment seat. We will all appear before the judgment seat. Dearly beloved, at the judgment seat, mercy and grace will cease to exist. Mercy and grace will cease to exist. Before the judgment seat, before the throne of judgment, mercy and grace will cease to exist. Now that we are still in this earth, is when we have opportunity that the grace of God and the mercy of God is available for us that can change and transform us. We can cry for mercy now and receive mercy. We can plead for his grace to stand to the very end and grace will be released. But before that judgment seat, there is no mercy. Mercy and grace cease to exist. Mercy and grace cease automatically to exist before because warning has been given we are in the air praise the lord that we are in the era of grace and in the era of mercy but let me tell you time will come before the judgment seat that mercy and grace will cease from existing why not make use of me why not make do of this opportunity at this time and ask for mercy Ask for mercy by seeking for forgiveness of your sin and ask for grace to run the, the race to the very end. Acts chapter 17 and in verse 20, 30, 30, Acts chapter, Acts chapter 17 and in verse 30 said, and the, and, and the time of, of this, uh, sorry, and the time of this ignorance, God's weeks at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent in any part of the nation are you in asia are you in africa are you in europe wherever part of the world you are the commandment at this time is that all men to repent if you have not heard of it before mercy i'll speak for you god has overlooked that but now he commanded that every man should be saved because he has appointed a day in, in, in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by the man who he has ordained. Wherefore, he has given assurance unto all men in that he has raised Jesus, raised him from the dead. He has raised Jesus from the dead. We are eating in the era of grace. Mercy can still speak for us. And that is why you have the opportunity of making your way right with God and making demand for the grace to run to the very end. If we are still in the era of grace and mercy. Mercy to be forgiven. Mercy can be applied to your, your case and your sin can be forgiven. And grace can be received to stand to the very end. 
Why not we make that decision now? Will you want to stand before the law, before the judge of the old earth, and see and cry at where, cry where, 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 where sin, your sins cannot be forgiven? There's a spiritual song that was sung what our beloved sister, which is in blessed memory. Sister, 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 sister Os- 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 Osinachi, and she sang the song. This is, and she said, they cry that you will cry. When the saints are gone, cry that cry now when they are still alive. The cry that you will cry when the saints are taken after rapture. Cry that cry now and be saved from your sin. The mercy that you will seek for after the rapture. Why not seek for that mercy now? The grace that you will ask for, ask for after rapture. Why not ask for that grace now? Because that time you will cry and the, the cry, your cry will not be listening to. You will plead for mercy and mercy will not be available. There is a time coming. Dearly beloved, at the judgment seat, I will repeat it again. Dearly beloved, at the judgment seat. Mercy, mercy and grace will cease to exist. There is a sin, there is a sinless and guiltless substitute for everyone on earth now by before the judgment now is available there is a substitute for your sin there's a substitute for forgiveness of sin and that is christ who came for a redemption accept him today and your sin will be forgiven accept him today and mercy will speak for you accept him today and when you come before him that judgment throne on that judgment seat the day the day of judgment that, that this, the prayer you pray now, the forgiveness you requested for now, will give you a, a clear passage. We give you a freedom to pass. You give a freedom to pass. And the blood, because the mark of the priest, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. If you have the seal of the blood, at that judgment, judgment day, the blood will give you a free access into the kingdom. No man escape before the judge without the atoning blood of Christ of God, Jesus Christ. The atoning blood is the only escapable way from the judgment of the Lord. The mark of the blood of the, of, of the precious blood of Jesus of the precious blood is what that guaranteed man escape and pardon before the throne. Any man that get before the throne. The only thing that has guaranteed that man pardon and escape is the mark of the blood, the redemptive blood of Christ. Ezekiel chapter 12, sorry, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and in verse 1, he said, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Why the evil day come not, nor the year draw nigh, when, they, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Remember the Lord thy God in the days of thy youth. Remember thy creator in the days of you. Look at verse 13. He said, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the old duty of man. If you fear him now, before the judgment throne, before the judgment seat, freedom and clear passage will be given to you. If you follow him now, that is what I guarantee freedom and clear passage for you. Even as God is faithful to keep to his promises concerning us, even so he is faithful to keep to his record of of all our works and dealings on earth and every man will be judged. We call him a covenant keeping God. And do you think that he will not keep to what? All the record? The record that clearly before him. Even as our God is a faithful, is a faithful, is faithful to keep his precious promises concerning us. Concerning us. Even so, he is faithful to keep record of every man's work on earth. And before the judgment seat, he will judge every man and everyone record will be clearly before him. 
what would be your own situation? What would be your own case? The judgment of, of, of the Lord covers everyone. This the cover comprises of everyone, both the small, both the young, both the rich, both the old, both the poor. Everyone would stand, the educated and uneducated. If everyone would stand, we will all appear. We will all appear before the Lord and uh, we will give account of our life. We will all appear before Him and we shall all be judged. We shall all be judged. Second Corinthians again, chapter 5 and verse, and verse 10. I say, we, we, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. The gospel is for the small and for the great. The same way the judgment is for both the small and the great. The gospel of Christ, this gospel is coming to you today, is for both the young and the old, the poor and the rich. The same way the judgment of the Lord is for both the poor and both the rich. Because you are poor doesn't mean you will not be judged. Because you are rich doesn't mean you will not be judged. Remember the story of the poor Lazarus and, and, the, and, the, rich, and, the, rich, and the rich man. Everyone must stand before. We must all appear before the judgment seat of the Lord. And we shall be all judged. If you, if anyone is ashamed of the gospel or ashamed of the cross of Christ on earth, Christ will not be ashamed to send us to hell. If you are ashamed of the cross of Christ on earth, as I will not, I'm ashamed of Jesus, I will not go with him. Be ready that Christ also will not be, will not be ashamed or feel bad to throw you to hellfire before the judgment seat make your way right today why not surrender your life to jesus today why not make your way right for him why not make your way right with jesus why not say lord jesus i come to surrender my life to you i don't want to stand before you that day guilty guilty of what you have made available already for me lord jesus i surrender my life be lord Hell is not a place that you wish your worst enemy to go. It is stated in the scripture that even if, if it happens that a, a, a worm mistakenly as easy as to eat worm can be killed we, 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 just, just by mashing, by scrubbing your leg on the ground, you can kill an earthworm. If an earthworm would die, that mistakenly enter into hell, that worm will never die. It's a place where the worm diet not. As weak and as, as, as weak and powerless and reckless that an earthworm is, if it mistakenly get to hell, the earthworm will remain forever and it will die not. No soul, no life dies in hell. Beloved, I'm not make a way right today. Grace is still available, mercy is still available. Do that today and make your way right to God. Can you pray this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I know you came to die for me. On the cross of Calvary, you paid a redemption for my sin. I surrender my life to you. Thank you for saving me. Father, write my name in the book of life. Satan, I denounce you. I am not for, not for you. I am not for you anymore. I am for Jesus and Jesus alone. Thank you, Father, for saving me. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. If you pray that prayer, that is the beginning. What you need now, you have received mercy for forgiveness. What you need now is to ask for the grace to keep standing to the very end. Father in heaven, we ask that the grace to stand to the very end. You granted grace to Apostle Paul and he said, I bring my body under subjection. Not that, that I have ministered to others, but I should be a castaway. Lord, help us. Grant unto us this day the grace we need to stand to the very end. You have made your mercy available to us and you have forgiven us and you have brought us into the kingdom. Grant us the grace to stand to the very end in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord, in our life. Let your name alone be glorified. Whatever the enemy strategy the enemy is bringing to pull us away from the way of the cross. 
to distract us from your counsel. Lord, we ask of thee today, whatever that is distracting us from your counsel, distract us from them, distract us from those things. Is it health issue? Is it financial issue? Is it family issue? Is it com- economic issue? Is it community issue? Is it nation- national issue? Lord, separate us from those things in the name of Jesus. Prepare us and keep us ready for your coming. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen.